What is up, Karatics? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's Quadruple Money Event Week as well as the vehicle discounts. This event week is for May 12th through May 18th, 2022. So firstly, the bookmark jobs not showing up and playlists are still broken. Again, this is only a next-gen issue and is yet to be fixed at the time of this recording. As we talked about before, we're guessing that it might take a downloadable update to fix this issue, and we're not sure how long or how soon that will happen. But anyways, the current prize ride for this week is the Verlier. This car is primarily based on the TVR Cigaris mixed with the Wiseman GT MF5. It has a normal price of just under $700,000. But anyways, to get this car for free, you have to place top three in a street series race for three days in a row. Now, usually I'm not a fan of these days in a row requirements, but Honestly, three days isn't too bad in comparison to the five days in a row from last week, which is a bit ridiculous, but the days in a row requirement to me is just dumb. It really shouldn't be a thing. Now, in terms of performance, the Verlier isn't all that great. It's around 50th place in the sports car class around the pace of the OG Carbon Azair. It's a pretty average performing sports car. However, it does have a fantastic exhaust note and some decent customization as well, and I think it's a great car to own in that regard. In terms of the test ride vehicles for this week, we have the 811, the Mamba, and the Tauros. And for next gen console players, we have the Hakachu Drag as the HSW test ride vehicle for this week. Now in terms of the casino podium vehicle, we have the Ardent. This car is primarily based on the Lotus Esprit. It has a normal price of about 1.1 million, which is definitely very expensive for a car like this. Now this particular car is in a very strange situation. It has the machine guns mounted out front, kind of similar to the Night Shark, which unfortunately doesn't allow it to be used in sports classic races. Although there are plenty of other cars in GTA that have guns out front and can be used in races, they're just deactivated during the race. And in one of the DLCs, Rockstar actually did attempt to fix this, but they only allow you to use the stock version of the Ardent in races for whatever reason. I'm not sure what Rockstar was thinking there, it really makes no sense. And the funny thing is that this car would actually be perfectly balanced in the Sports Classics class and competitive as well, if the customized version was usable. And of course, that's assuming the HSW Turismo Classic was not allowed in that particular race. But anyways, starting off with the property discounts, we sadly don't have any this week, which is very surprising. I'm not sure why Rockstar skipped out on property discounts this week. Moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 30% off the Tauros. This is the fastest SUV in the game, not including the HSW Astron Custom, of course. Plus, it has great customization, and at this price, this is an absolute steal for this level of performance and customization. Next up, we have 30% off the Vindicator. Not the best bike due to its awful handling, but it does have the Kurs boost system, which makes it go pretty quick in a straight line, but the Shotaro and the Hakachu drag can run circles around this thing. I personally don't think it's worth it, even at this price. Moving on to the Summer San Andreas website, we have 40% off the Slam Truck. So this vehicle is in the utilities class and is considered a personal vehicle, so you can store it in any garage. Plus it has some decent customization as well. However, the biggest downside to this old school tow truck is that it cannot actually tow vehicles because they just slide right off when you start to drive away. The slam truck is really only useful for like photo shoots and stuff like that. It's not really useful for anything else other than that. Next up, we have 30% off the Chimura, one of the random three-wheeled motorcycles in-game. I don't really see the purpose in this bike, and this discount isn't really all that great because it's not an expensive bike to begin with. Very random there. Anyways, moving on to the Warstock website, we have 40% off the RC Tank. So this thing is obviously very overpowered in the right hands, but then again, it's also very expensive. And with the Amani Tech vehicles running around, it doesn't have the same impact as it did in the past, but 
Personally, I would skip out on this one, but if you've always wanted one for whatever reason, this is a pretty decent price compared to this normal price tag, but it's still pretty expensive. Next up, we have 40% off the Scramjet, one of my favorite weaponized vehicles in game alongside the Toreador. I think those two are kind of the top two weaponized vehicles to own in game other than the Oppressors. And at this price, I think this is a fantastic deal for this car, considering everything it can do. Moving along, we have 30% off the Thruster. So this, of course, is the jetpack that is pretty immune to the Oppressor Mark II missiles, as long as you're going full speed in a straight line. However, I feel it's still a bit overpriced for what it is, plus you need to own a facility in order to even purchase it. Moving on to the Benny's website, we have 30% off the Benny's custom upgrade for the Manana Custom, bringing that custom conversion cost down to about $647,000, which honestly I think is still a bit overpriced for what it is. Moving on to Alita's Travels website, we have a very random 30% off the Cuban 800 this week. I don't see the purpose in buying this plane. Moving along, in terms of quadruple money, we have four times money NRP on free mode events, which is pretty cool. And the free mode event cooldowns have decreased as well, so free mode events now happen a lot more often, every nine minutes to be exact. This is perfect for a lot of new players who can gain a decent amount of money NRP this week. In terms of double money, we have double money NRP on the adversary mode Motor Wars. This of course is the Battle Royale style adversary mode which I think is a ton of fun to do with friends. However, I think this would have been better if it was triple money. At double money you're not making all that great of money. Moving on to the Prime Gaming discounts for Prime Gaming members only, so again, same as the last few months, the only thing we have is the usual free $100,000 for logging in during the event week period. And lastly, this week's RC Bandito time trial is La Fuente Blanca. This week's normal time trial is Route 68. I highly recommend a fast car such as the Pariah or one of the top motorcycles, or of course, one of the HSW vehicles if you're on next gen. In terms of the premium race for this week, we have the Muscle Car Race Muscle In. I highly recommend using the Buffalo STX for this race. No other car in the Muscle Car class can touch the Buffalo STX on this particular track. And lastly, for next gen console users, the HSW time trial for this week is East Vinewood. And if that sounds familiar, it's because there's only 8 different HSW time trials currently in game. And since we've already gone through all of them for the 8 weeks, now they'll be repeating the older one just like the normal time trials do. And remember, as always, the HSW Hakachu Drag will be the best one for these HSW time trials. Every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm gonna have to go with the Tauros. With its incredible performance and customization, for this price, I think it's an absolute steal for this SUV, especially in the current GTA economy. It's a fantastic vehicle overall. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall, this event week is definitely below average with no property discounts and pretty lackluster bonus money opportunities as well. However, the vehicle discounts were pretty decent this week, so that's really its only saving grace. But the event week is still not that great. Hopefully next week is a lot better. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.